Jack, you've had affairs with married men, right? I am insulted you would even ask. <laughs> of course I have. <laughs> That's like me asking you if you rely too much on your hair. Guilty. It even got me out of my math requirement at NYU. <laughs> so you don't feel worried that cheating makes you a bad person? Why? What have I done? My only crime is being irresistible. <laughs> Besides, Grace, life is too short to waste time on overthinking things. When an opportunity comes, I don't question it. I grab it, drop its ring on the nightstand, and swing on it till dawn. <laughs> You make it sound... <laughs> you make it sound so hot. <laughs> Necessary, even. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, um, it's also kind of sexy to have a secret no one knows. Like, when you drink too much, you get a little tattoo that says, I love Will. <laughs> what? I fooled around with Antoine on top of all the coats. If she's embarrassed by anybody, it's me. Wait. <laughs> anyway, it's obviously you, Grace, because, you know, you're a woman that's always a little embarrassing. You know what I hear when you talk? <laughs> you know what I see when you talk? William Hurt in a wig. You are both embarrassing. If I, if I had a party, I wouldn't invite either of you. I wouldn't want to go because everything would be pickled. <laughs> Listen, I am going to tell you something that does not leave this room, okay? I've never cheated. No. <laughs> yes. I, too, am a... I, too, am a woman of quality. Sure, I talk a big game, but deep down, I know it's wrong, and so do you. Let's face it, Grace, you and I, we've always been the moral center of our group. We have? Oh, come on. You know how when Will and Karen get into their ridiculous shenanigans, you and I always catch each other's eyes and shrug. We shrug? Yes, because we're moral. That is why we shrug. <laughs> And Grace, you were devastated when Leo cheated on you. Do you really want to do that to someone else? The more you know, and shooting star. You know what, Jack? <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Tell me how you feel about this business, then. I, I thought that I could be cavalier about love and sex, but that's not who I am, and I'm glad it's not. Thank you for being honest with me, Jack. Really. <laughs> You're a pompous boor, Will. What did you say to me? I said... You are a pompous boar.
I'm really going to be honest, um, <laughs> there's something else I need to say to you. <laughs> I, um, I do not have a GRI, glitter-related injury. <laughs> something much more hideous. Honey, you should ask. During the fire, I singed it off. You mean singed. No, actually, I mean singed. As the set burned around me, I refused to stop singing my patriotic finale. You're a grand old fag. When I went to salute, I didn't realize my sleeve was on fire. climb back onto the roof and load them all back into the hatch. <laughs> Rosie, get in here, clean this up. Okay, everybody clear out. It'll only take a second. Shouldn't somebody help her? Nobody helps her. She makes $350,000 a year. What kind of prescription plan are you on, by the way? <laughs> I think it's the uh, sneak a truck across the Canadian border plan. Well, Will said something that has made me very curious. I mean, come on, let's face it. Will and I have always been the moral center of our group. 